Okay, so the first thing that I do in the morning to set my day up for success is not go on my phone. All I do is snooze my alarm or turn my alarm off, but I don't look at any of my notifications. I don't open my phone. I just basically use it for my alarm. And there's actually like something scientific to back this up that not going on your phone in the morning is really beneficial for you. It just makes me feel so much more clear headed and less groggy. Just because I feel like looking at your phone is so much stimulation and doing that first thing in the morning is definitely just way too much and could potentially trigger something if you see something negative then first thing after i get out of bed i like to make it just because it makes me feel accomplished because i'm accomplishing a task right when i'm waking up and just for the aesthetics of it too i just like having a made bed and it also doesn't tempt me to go back in and fall back asleep if the bed is done Next thing I do that just makes me feel really good in the morning is light some candles because it's cozy season right now so it just kind of sets the vibe and this may sound really weird but I put on like a jazz morning playlist and it just really makes me romanticize my mornings and it's just the best thing ever so i would 10 out of 10 suggest that you try that and i listen to this jazz music while i sit down and i journal whether it be about my dreams the night before or just like my thoughts journaling is something that i've started to incorporate into my morning routine because it's something that i actually look forward to and it really helps just to get me out of bed and it's just really calming for me and it's something that i really enjoy doing I don't do this every single morning, but I do this on mornings where I'm kind of seeking more motivation. So I just like reading a self-help book. This one is called Ask and It Is Given by Abraham Hicks and it's all about manifestation and everything. And it really just like motivates me and sets me up in a really good mindset and headspace for the day. It's really important to surround yourself with things that motivate you, especially in the morning because that is at the very beginning of your day. So instead of kind of consuming mindless content on social media like I would normally do, transitioning to journaling and reading helps my mindset and productivity so much throughout the day and it's definitely the best thing I've ever done. Putting on a workout outfit after I do those things helps me get motivated to actually get my body moving, do some movement. I find that if I don't do movement at the beginning of the day, then I might not do it at all or I will not do it at all. So stretching has been something that I've been loving and I cannot live without now. If I don't stretch, my body feels so stiff throughout the day, especially when I'm just sitting editing. Especially after coming out of bed, I just feel so stiff from sleeping for eight plus hours. I kind of do like a stretch slash yoga. I just do my own flow, but doing this in the morning just really helps my body feel good for the rest of the day. Okay, I know meditating sounds really like cliche and everybody is kind of doing it now, but it seriously is the best thing ever and it just completely clears out your mind and starts you off on like a blank slate for the day. It makes me feel so good, so clear headed and honestly just really powerful. And it's also a really good tool to have like once you get good at it to incorporate into your day to help reduce stress and everything like that. All that I do to meditate is I go on Apple Music and I just search up like a spa music playlist and I just put that on, put my headphones in and I clear my head of all my thoughts or I try to at least because obviously thoughts are still going to come in but you just kind of have to address them and push them to the side. But yeah, it's super simple to do and a lot of people meditate in different ways so finding which way you like the best and works best for you is also important but I really suggest you at least try it. It's something that really just helps me throughout the day with stress and everything.
So three times a week I will do weightlifting and then two times a week I'll do 12, 3.30. So today that's what I was doing. And doing movement in the morning just helps me feel really good throughout the day. It honestly just gives me and releases so many endorphins and it makes me feel a lot less tired. Like I feel like up until this point, I'm still feeling a bit tired. But then once I get working out, it helps wake me up and set me up for the rest of my day. But it's definitely important to just have some type of movement within your day, whether that be a 10 minute walk or if that's just even stretching for you whatever it is that makes you feel good that requires your body to move is definitely really important to get the blood flowing and to just make your body feel good so another way obviously to set up your day for success is to get a good night's sleep the night before obviously because i am somebody that cannot run or function off of no sleep if i don't get a good sleep my whole day is kind of hindered and it affects everything i would love to thank birch living for sponsoring this video they sent me a mattress a while ago and it's been the best thing ever for me and my boyfriend sleeps because we have not slept better in our life since getting this mattress so birch living is a in a box mattress company that delivers right to your door the setup for me was so easy i basically just opened the box unrolled the mattress and you just have to leave it sit for a while but then it's ready to go it's so easy they ship it right to your door so they're non-toxic mattresses that are made in the states and they're crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced and you guys know that i've been trying to live that more sustainable um, route so i absolutely love that birch is committed to being better for the planet it makes me feel good that my mattress isn't like emitting any harmful toxins so the mattress that i actually have now is the birch lux mattress which is a premium upgrade to their original one i've had my mattress now for like five months every single time i get into bed like i plan i'm like oh i'm gonna watch a couple youtube videos but once i get in bed it is so comfortable that i literally fall asleep in like 0.2 seconds it's dangerous of how comfortable it is and i was so amazed on how easy it was to set up and it's so much easier than like going to a store. So when you order um, a Birch mattress, they give you a 100 night sleep trial and also a 25 year warranty on it. And like I said, they deliver right to your door and it's completely free if you guys live in the US. And each mattress comes with a set of their Eco Rest pillows, which are made out of recycled plastic bottles, which is so cool. This is actually one of the pillows and I sleep on it every night, obviously, and it's so comfortable. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a Birch um, mattress, you guys can click the link in my description and get $400 off plus two free pillows. So yeah, thank you again to Birch Living for sponsoring this video and I'm truly in love with the mattress and I love how as a company they care about the environment. I love it. Good morning you guys. So as you guys saw by the title of this video, I am doing a how I set my day up for success video just because I feel like especially recently I've implemented like a lot of things that have really helped me just like have a good successful happy day whatever that looks like and it just been feeling like I kind of got my mornings down pat yeah so I just showered I just got back from the gym and the first thing that I'm gonna do now before I eat is make myself a to-do list for the day that's one of the ways that really really helps me set my day up for success because you probably have some of those moments in the day where you kind of get lost and you're like I don't know what to do next but having that to-do list planned out you're like okay I want to take this off I'm gonna do this and then it's like all planned out there for you so you know your next step and it makes you more kind of productive in a way without a to-do list I honestly get really really lost in my day sometimes and being able to just tick it off is the most satisfying feeling i love first thing opening my laptop and ticking off how um i did my workout and i made my bed because that just sets me up for the rest of the day as in like it makes me feel good that i can accomplish these things so yeah that's like one thing that's helped my productivity so much is making to-do lists i like to use notion just lay it kind of all out for myself on there it's like the best thing ever i also love including doing things for myself like journaling or going to the sauna stuff that i want to do that's going to make me feel better um incorporating it in with those other more daunting tasks makes me feel so good so if you guys have never made to-do list before i highly suggest you at least try it for a day that's what i'm going to do now i'm just going to write my to-do list for the day and then i'm going to make some breakfast
guys have seen me make this already, but I'm still obsessed with this. This is one of my favorite things to have for breakfast and it just makes me so happy because it's just so delicious and I'm so excited. a little bit ready i just applied a layer of the super goop glow screen i've been using this for like every single day since i got it it's so good i love it so much i'm almost out but highly would recommend anyways so putting a little bit of makeup on really just like helps my mindset be more of like a you're put together mode it gets me more motivated to do shit there are days of the week where i don't put makeup on because i do like to give my face a break obviously sometimes but from day to day i do like it just because obviously for filming but also just because it really does help me kind of get more done because in my head i'm like i don't want to take a nap when i have makeup on and it just like makes me subconsciously less tired I don't know if there's like a science behind that or what, but I swear having makeup on just helps me stay more awake throughout the day. I guess it ties into that whole thing of like being and feeling more put together. But anyway, so I'm just really doing a light face though. I just put that glow screen on and then I just use the Rare Beauty Concealer just to conceal a little bit, just like brighten up my face a little bit. So I got this Kosas Concealer and it's more of like my summer shade, but I kind of just like dot it in places that I want a little bit more coverage, like just a tiny bit. But I don't know if I'm using it wrong. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like not, maybe I should get a lighter shade, but it. I don't understand the hype about it. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't really do anything. Maybe it's just not for my skin, who knows. But I bought it and I had really high expectations for it and I don't really like it that much. But maybe I do need to get like a lighter shade and then pile it on a little bit more. But to me, it just like I put the concealer on, blend it in, and then I don't see a difference. So then after concealer, I just go in with this Makeup by Mario um, bronzer. And I just kind of take a bit on my brush and then I kind of just lightly bronze my face. Also, random, but have you guys seen The Watcher on Netflix? It's like this new Netflix show the other day. Me and Joel binge watched it all on Friday night and we couldn't keep our eyes off of the screen. It felt like one long movie. We loved it so much and it was like one of the best shows that we've ever watched. It was so, like it just kept you entertained the whole time and it was hard to stop at like the next episode. So we literally binge watched seven episodes in one night. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. So I'd highly suggest, um, it gives you that like cozy spooky vibe so freaking good 10 out of 10 would recommend i'm gonna just do my brows i don't know if i've said this before on my youtube channel maybe i haven't actually but it's super easy the way that i do my brows i just use the got to be gel this thing's like four dollars and look at how big it is it, this will probably last me the rest of my life to be honest but i just take like a tiny bit on my finger and then i place it in my brows and then i just take a spoolie and comb my brows up into place and that's all that i do for my eyebrows it's so easy, but it gives me such great results. And I used to buy those like smaller eyebrow gels, like made for your eyebrows. And they just like would never last me more than a month. And I don't know, this is just like just as good or even better. And this will last me probably for like a hundred years because it's so big and I use such a small amount of product and it keeps them in place all day. How have you guys been though? Let me know down below in the comments. How you guys have been what you guys have been up to um if you're excited for christmas if you're loving the fall vibe um i want to know just give me an update on your guys's life i would love to know how you're doing honestly i just love youtube so much the fact that i can just come on here and talk to you guys just so casually and it's like a long video and you're listening to me right now is insane let me know if you guys liked more of like my theme videos um because i feel like i've been doing more themed videos recently and not as many just like casual vlogs i am uploading a week 
in my life that's gonna be my next video on wednesday so that's going up soon so stay tuned for that but that one's definitely gonna be more casual and just like more vloggy and not such like a themed video but let me know what you guys like better if you guys liked like my themed videos better or if you like more just chill vlogs i would love to know your feedback okay now i'm just going in with this nars um blush in the shade orgasm and i just like using this really lightly just to give myself a little bit of color and the shade is just so pretty i just want to casually remind you guys i know i may say this a lot but we are on a floating planet in the middle of the universe like we are floating right now in the universe and the universe is just infinitely long we don't even know how big the universe is which is a crazy thing and so in the grand scheme of things it's so important not to stress over little stupid things in life and just realize like zoom yourself out i love doing this zooming myself out and just realizing like hey like this isn't really a big issue because we're just here in life to experience and have a great life live our best life and learn and at the end of the day we're literally on a floating planet in the middle of the universe like how is that even possible it's crazy like we get so caught up in our day-to-day -day lives i feel like and we don't really take the time to just like sometimes zoom ourselves out and just realize that nothing really matters the only thing that matters at the end of the day is your happiness anyways it was really deep but my mind goes there a lot now i'm just applying my charlotte tilbury powder um just a very light coat around my nose area because that's where i get the most oily but i love this stuff so much now i'm just gonna finish everything off with the rare beauty setting um spray and yeah the most that i'll do after this is just curl my eyelashes but i don't really apply mascara on the day today just because i don't know why i just don't like mascara that much if you guys are looking for a good eyelash curler the tweezer man one is the best like i I've never used an eyelash curler so good that actually does a good job and then as for my lips um if i'm feeling it i'll put a little bit of the benetint on it's like a lip and cheek stain and i like how it's not like a lipstick so you don't have to worry about it like fixing it but it just gives you a little bit of color so here is the fit of the day that i chose i like to put on something that makes me feel cute but i'm still super comfortable in and i feel like i can move like i honestly would never wear jeans at home that's just like a personal thing i just only put on jeans when i go out because i just can't justify wearing them around my home like i just can't so i always probably go for like a legging or sweatpants but it still makes it feel cute still a little put together so i feel i can be really productive but yeah i just feel like putting together an outfit that makes you feel comfortable and cute if you're like working from home is really important than just like staying in your pajamas the whole day because staying in my pajamas just makes me feel like sluggish and i makes me just want to go take a nap because I'm like, oh, I'm already in my pajamas, so why not? But putting something different on really does help and it does the trick. You guys, I was trying to make a coffee and then I just spilled all of the milk that was in my cup. The warmed up milk just spilled everywhere because I was trying to adjust the coffee maker to come forward and then the cup tipped over. And I didn't catch it on camera, but that was very catastrophic. It is okay. We are going to try that again. I actually think that this is a lesson to be learned though, because a lot of the times in life, or especially like during your day in the morning or whatever, when something bad happens, like AKA spilling your milk, we tend to just like let that ruin our day and focus our energy towards it. But it's so important just to realize like, it's okay. It's just a spilled cup of milk. That is all I can re-pour it. Nobody got hurt, it is fine. And just kind of push it back to the side, laugh about it, and then continue on with your day without it letting affect you. I just feel like doing that is gonna essentially set your day up for success because shit happens. This was out of my control, it just happened. Like what am I gonna do, mope about it, get mad about it? No, it's just important to move on and then focus on the positives because if you, if I were to focus on this and be like, holy shit, I'm so unlucky, bad things happen to me, why would this happen to me? And if I had that type of mindset, then throughout the day, more negative things and more bad things are going to come into my life and happen to me because I'm manifesting and that's what my energy is focused on. So essentially, we're taking this as a lesson and it's funny how this happened for this video because I swear this was not obviously not on purpose, but so we're taking this as a lesson and I'm going to clean it up and then we're going to try that again. Wow. 
Welcome to the new desk spot. I actually filmed us setting up this desk and everything. It's going up in my next vlog. I'm just using Joel's de desk chair right now because I haven't gotten one for myself yet. So let me know if you guys have any desk chair recommendations. That's really random, but let me know. So I just made myself a latte and I was just feeling in my fall cozy era. So I wanted to make a hot drink and it's just so good. I put the Starbucks pumpkin spice creamer in it. I honestly feel like I'm in my romanticizing life era. Like I just feel like I'm taking a lot of time to nurture myself lately. And it's just been feeling so good. I honestly really do love fall. I underestimated how much I love this season. Um, anyway, so now I'm just going to sit down, do some emails because I haven't checked my emails yet today. And so I want to get that done off of my to-do list for the day because that's something that I need to do every single day. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so me and Lexi are currently about to go on a walk. I want to take her to this new spot that I found. That's really freaking beautiful and it just helps like romanticize your day and I love doing like things in the day that make me happy aside from like work and stuff and going on walks when it's nice in nature just makes me so freaking happy. So that is what we are doing. That weather is like really, it's been really weird lately. Like it's been really nice, don't get me wrong, but it's been just like awkward weather where it's like sunny but cold but hot in the sun, cold in the shade. So I kind of have, I put on some biker shorts because I just know my legs are going to get warm if I wear sweatpants. And then I still have the same shirt, but I just put on this um, jacket over top because I can always take this off if I get too hot. But yeah, the weather has just been really awkward. But it's been kind of nice because like it hasn't rained in a while. And I'm just going to put on my runners and now we're going to go enjoy the walk. <laughs> 